All right, guys, Aggie here with Baseball Prodigy. What I want to talk to you today about is my son plays every position. No, he doesn't, okay? We need to stop that immediately if you're getting those uh, information from a college coach. They, they send you a link and they say, hey, fill out this information, and, and people are putting on there, my son plays everything. No, he doesn't. That actually communicates exact opposite of what you want to communicate to a college coach. Here's why, okay? Because it tells that you don't. It tells them that you don't know who you are on the baseball field, okay? It tells them that you don't know who you are on the diamond and what position you actually excel at, um, versus where your select team has you, versus where your high school team has you. Those sort of things. Okay. Now, to be clear, in ninth grade, you might be a primary pitcher and a secondary center fielder, but in tenth grade, eleventh grade, that might change because your hitting ability exceeds your pitching ability and now flip-flop you're a primary center fielder and a secondary pitcher but that's going to kind of work itself out because the college is going to see that as they go as they see you at these larger events when you're a junior when you're a senior those sort of things go man i thought this guy might have had something on the mound but he's actually become really really fast um and he's hitting the ball all over the ballpark man this dude i could see playing center field now if they send you something and you say utility, make sure that you put infield utility or outfield utility, right? That means that, hey, I play multiple positions in the outfield or I play multiple positions in the infield. That's perfectly fine. But to say literally my son plays all positions is just an awful thing to put out there. So um, this is what we do here at Baseball Prodigy. We help you navigate the process. We put together an outstanding free training for you at baseballprodigy.com. Go there, click the link. We're going to put it down in the description below. But that's just one aspect of what happens in this college recruiting process where people make missteps, right? And this seems like such a simple thing to me, who's been doing this for 22 years, but to the person going through it for the first time, they actually don't understand that. And so this is one of a hundred different aspects that we help kids with and that we've helped kids with over a 97% success rate over two decades, They're almost $18 million in college scholarships. So you wanna to go to that link right now, click it, don't waste any time, and get that free training, right? That's what it's about with us at Baseball Prodigy. We wanna make sure that you have the highest and best to be able to navigate this and have a true blueprint of how to walk through the college baseball recruiting uh, uh, you know, forest, if you will, right? It's a hard thing to navigate through if you've never been there. And so we're not only gonna help you define where you're at, but where you're going. Enjoy the game. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your buddies. Share with other parents who may be walking through this process here on YouTube. Um, just make sure that you give us that thumbs up and let us know what you think about it. Thanks.